Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. Been working on some projects and the mailman stopped by. He brought me this guy. Yeah, in addition to my series. Let's check it out. So this guy here, which is uh, part of the Rough Rider Faded Blue Jean series, which I've been collecting. I'm working on it. It's a pretty big series and uh, I'm getting there. You, you recognize the box. You've seen these before. I've showed you the other ones I've got. This is the RR2356. The Faded Blue Jeans Makata Handle Series with orange underliners. And this one is pretty cool. This guy here. See that? Look at that. <laughs> Love these. This is the, what they call, uh, get it open, the improved muskrat. Look at that. Got that huge wingspan, typical for a muskrat. And you can see it there. It's uh, pretty wide in the hand. Very cool. Uh, one of the reasons I like this, and I'll get into that later, is the blades. One is a common blade, not one of my favorites. The other one is a favorite. So let's see what else is looking here. You've got, of course, that faded blue jean denim micada. It's such a cool look. And of course, you have the orange underliners on it. You've all seen this before. Nothing new there. And... Uh, very, very nice. Now, I will say that, you know, they have a lot of series and this is still my favorite. And a big challenger coming in is the Arctic series. But I'm sticking with these guys. I really love this style. It's almost old school. Uh, if you were growing up when denims were really popular, um, you you get used to this coloring because a lot of the denim did that to highlight things on it. And that's what's pretty cool. Of course, it has that nice badge on it, the double R badge. Two bolsters, obviously, it is a muskrat. They're not huge. And if you look, it almost looks like a swayback mus muskrat. Look at the, the shape here. Um, very unusual. Uh, it's not your normal straight style handle on it. It has that sweep for the sway back. And of course, you know, you got your big blades on there, which are a little unusual. Uh, the the bolsters on you, of course, are nickel silver plated. And they have the, just the R on the one here. Nothing on that side or any other side to the bolsters. Once again, very clean. A little bit of gap in the corner there. I don't know if you can see that uh, right there. Is it a big deal? No, not really. The rest is right there solid. I think it just, you know, the edging might have just got a chip in it when they put it in. But otherwise, it's clean as a whistle. Beautiful knives, these. This, this color, <laughs> it's the perfect match. You can't beat it. I've said all this before. I just wanted to share this one with you. You know, the normal story with these has the brass liners in there with that orange underliner macada on top and then the faded denim on top of that very nice and of course that huge wingspan very typical of a muskrat the blades on this thing unusual choice and of course the sway back and that's why they refer to it as improved muskrat <laughs> what can i say uh, it is it is a big improvement. I like it. Let's have a closer look at the specs. Okay, a couple of things. You've seen them before. It has the faded denim uh, Makada handles on it. Very nice with the underliners, the badge, nickel silver pins, and the bolsters. You've all seen that. All very clean. Solid. Got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, the blades are pretty big on this. When I say big, they're long, which gives it that big wingspan. Very cool, and of course the unusual sway back to it. You can see it there. Um, has the badge, all the regular stuff. Now the blades they put on here. 
interesting. The first one, you all know, I'm not a clip point fan and they made a big deal out of this clip. <laughs> it is a true California clip. Look at it. It's long and sweeps up. Now, it does have the false blade on there. Obviously, you want that on your clip so you can get that nice, nasty little point on there. Nice big sweep on the blade. Very nice. Length of the clip is from the tip to the bolster is three inches. The actual working blade, two and three quarters. So you got three inches from the tip to the bolster, two and three quarters to here, right where the um, Ricasso comes in with your choil. Very nice blade. It has the uh, matte strike nail necks, has the double R on it there, you can see there. And on the other side, the usual part number and made in China. And of course, they always put on their blades 440 razor sharp steel. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll test it in a bit. We'll see what we're doing with it. I'll just cut some paper and make sure it is sharp. Very nice. Very, very long, thin, true California clip on it there. This is... Like 90% of the knives out there, these folders, this is a slip joint. It has no lock on it. It's not a lock back or anything like that. You did see there that it has the half stop, uh, which is, I think, is a must on any uh, slip joint. If anything happens, it's going to stop right there. And uh, you're not going to nick yourself with it, hopefully. Now, the other blade, and this we're going to chat about. See this guy here? Now, I've had this discussion with a couple of people on comments about what is a Warren Cliff versus a sheep's foot. Now, I, I got to tell you that when I looked at this, I thought, whoa, look at that. It's a Warren Cliff. Look at that blade. Now, it comes down pretty quick here but it's not a sudden drop you know it does curve off and drop down but it's not a huge drop down for i think that this this curve on the edge here on the front end of the blade is so close to a warren cliff that you know you could mistake it for that and i did when i looked at it but rough rider says this is a sheep's foot and it does have your false edge to it there because you want that point on it. It has the match strike on it. Very nice. All the usual stuff on it. Very nice. Now, I will say that the blades are pretty hefty. Look, at a little bit thicker than normal. And that's probably because of the length of the blades. Let's see the length on this one. So, on the sheep's foot. <laughs> hey, well, looking at this, I'm going to say, interestingly enough, it's about three to the bolster from the tip. Same as that clip. Working edge, a nice flat working edge, is actually less than, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit less than two, two and a half. So that's interesting. I, I really like this style of blade. Whether it's a sheep's foot or a Warren Cliff, it makes for a great whittling blade simply because it has that working tip there where you can really get in. And of course, there's that nice long flat base of the blade, the cutting edge. Very nice. And then, of course, let's see how big it is overall with everything opened up. You can see quite a wingspan. On this guy, tip to tip, blade to blade, tip to tip, it is ho oh, oh, nine and three quarter inches. So it's got a nice sweep to it there. And of course, you know, these orange underliners, I love them. Look at that. And the way they come around up here really makes this a wonderful knife and a wonderful series to have. Beautiful colors, well matched, everything you need. Is it sharp? Let's see. Piece of paper. I have. And... Yeah, this uh, sheep's foot. 
is sharp. It could do with a bit of a, a stropping, uh, you can see there. Um, but, I wonder, oh, I caught it, I'm sorry, I caught that right there on the, uh, the little edge there. Uh, it's catching on everything here. But it, it, it's okay, it just needs to be stropped is what's happening. There might be some dirty edge here down at the base. Let's see how that clip does. Now, you know, a clip should be nice and sharp and a good sweep to it when you cut with it. So, let's see. Yeah, you got that. No problem. So, they, you know, it comes out right, you know. Uh, you know, I've got to stop while I'm ahead, right? Yeah, I've got to get out of here. <laughs> i got to tell you that it's probably me more than the blade. The, you know, you can see it here. Half stop. And then your full sweep on it there. And you can see it there. Look how big that is. It's huge, that sweep. <laughs> They're always interesting, these, the style of knife, the, you know, the muskrat. It's such an unusual name. Don't know why they came out. I'd probably because people are hunting them, the blades they used on them. I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming a lot. <laughs> I do that, you know. It's an old age thing. We assume that everything's okay. <laughs> don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again soon. <laughs> You all be safe out there, especially with them sharp and shinies. Here you got two of them, right here on one handle with a wide sweep to them. Look at that. Beautiful. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Wait. How much did I pay for this guy? Well, that much. Not bad. Pretty typical for the series. No problem there. Uh, it's still well within my budget. Just how many I have to buy is what's killing my budget. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you again soon.